Um, right, Standard Hotel bookings were open at 9th of January 2019. We are still working on the exact time. We're trying to figure out what the best time to open is to give the maximum access to the maximum number of parts of the planet. Um, there will be an earlier opening on the no, no, no. 8th of December for people with access needs so they can get into the hotels they actually need to get into. Thank you. Any further questions for Ireland? Seeing none, thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Well, that concludes the site selection portion of this uh, meeting. Do you want we to have presentations from 2021 bidders. Oh Five yes. Are there any 2021 20, bidders who wish to present? 2021. <laughs> Uh, hello, I am uh, Colette Fazard. I'm the uh, co-bid chair of uh, DC in 2021. And uh, this is my co-bid chair, uh, Bill Lawhorn. Uh, we don't particularly have a presentation, but we wanted to make some basic information available and uh, be available for questions. Um, we are bidding to hold the uh, Worldcon in D Washington, D.C. in 2021 from August 25th to 29th, which is the weekend before Labor Day. The um, the uh, location that we are uh, that we have secured a conditional contract with is the Marriott Wardman Park, which will uh, contain essentially all of our function space, um, a thousand hotel rooms, 100 suites, and we will be looking to have overflow at the Omni Shoreham across the street. Anything you want to add, Bill? Uh, Bill Wahorn, co-chair. Very happy to meet you. Um, just to clarify, we are looking and we are scheduled to run Wednesday through Sunday. We have not made any determination as to the timing of the Hugo's, Hugo's or the masquerade should we win because that would be very presumptuous of us, but sometimes people ask. Thank you. And uh, does anybody have any questions they wish to ask? Uh, can somebody run her mic? Uh, Sue Francis, uh, my question is, are you going to have overflow days before and after the convention? Yes, uh, we have already secured in our contract uh, shoulder nights for, I believe, at least two and I believe three, you know, days pre and post uh, the, of the event. Bill Ahern, just adding, um, we have full run of the hotel starting on Wednesday night. We have half their block on the Tuesday night, which is before we start. And it, right now it's about 100 rooms that are scheduled for Monday. They're not willing to give us more at this time because they're, of course, hoping another convention will drop in in between so they can fill up, all, they have those rooms available. But the closer we get, the more likely they are going to be willing to add to our room block on those shoulder nights. And we have some really exciting things we're planning to do pre-convention for people who can come in town early. Thank you. Any further questions? Seeing none, thank you. Thank you. As I'm reminded, are there any bidders for the 2020 NASFIC who wish to present? Yeah. Aha. <laughs> I'm Kim Williams. I am not the chair. She had to go home so she could be at work bright and early at 7.30 tomorrow morning. <laughs> we um, have opened this weekend. We offer all congratulations to New Zealand. We are so thrilled for them. And we have taken the opportunity to open a 2020 NASPIC bid. Um, it is for late in August, August 8, no, August 20th through 23rd. and. We are having the Hyatt Regency Columbus, Ohio as our facility. Um, we have had lots of fan events in that particular location. We've had 29 years of Marcon. We've had a couple of world fantasies. So we've sort of already broken in the hotel staff or broken the hotel staff. Um, and we also have a table out in the uh, fan table area, bid table area, and we will be happy to answer questions out there and are looking forward to being in Utah next summer for um, a site selection. Thank you very much. Any questions? Yes. Um, 
Hello, Kim. Judith Bemis. Um, who is the chair who had to go home early? Lisa Garrison is the chair. I, I really told her that was a good idea. Any other questions? Bid chair or chair? <laughs> bid chair or chair? She is both bid chair and convention chair. No? Should we win? Any other questions? Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Sort of speaking for 2019's NASFIC, just a reminder to everyone that because of the way the WSFIS Constitution works, the 2020 NASFIC site selection feedback uh, will be held at the 2019 NASFIC in Utah. You must be a member of the 2019 NASFIC and only the 2019 NASFIC in order to vote in this election. Members of the 2019 Worldcon are not eligible to vote on the 2019, that I means the 2020 NASFIC election. I think I got that right. <laughs> Thank you. did. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Jay Spitzer, uh, just to clarify that last point, do you need to be a full member of the 2019 NASFIC? No, or you need to be a supporting member. Thank you. To vote. Right. Uh, Thanks so much. Uh, a supporting member of Westercon. You can still be a full attending or supporting member of New Zealand and support them fully, but in order to vote for NASFIC, you need to be a supporting member of the 2019 NASFIC. I'm sorry. Yeah, not Western. Yeah, I said NASFIC. <laughs> yes, sir. Actually, that was going to be my follow-up question: Is can you can you be a supporting member of all three by buying one supporting membership or and or attending in the same conditions? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. Ben Yallo, uh, just for people's information, since these questions have come up, I will be the site selection administrator for the dual elections of the Westercon two years from that, two years from then, and the NASFIC for 2020. And all of the information about filing deadlines and everything like that will be on the web page. There will be separate addresses, but they all flow through to me anyhow. Yay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are there any bids for World Cons or NASFIX beyond 2021 who wish to say something briefly? Dave? Hello, I am Dave McCarty. I'm co-chairman of the bid for Chicago in 2022. Uh, just announcing that we have launched this weekend. We are talking with downtown hotels. We have really exciting offers, but I don't have firm dates yet. Although being Chicago, I can promise you guys it's almost certainly going to be the Labor Day holiday weekend. And I am celebrating a giant financial windfall since we uh, decided that everybody that attended this meeting was on our bid committee. And <laughs> you, you owe us $350 if you pay this weekend or $400 if you don't pay us this weekend and boy we are going to be well funded <laughs> are there any questions <laughs> no 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 Dave, will you be planning on doing pass-along funds? Uh, we have participated in pass-along funds every time before. We're still putting together the group of people who will officially decide. However, I will beat up anybody that tries to say we're not doing pass-along funds. Any other questions? All right, I'll stop taking your time, and I will look forward to getting all of your money. <laughs> Thank you. Any more bidders for the future conventions? Seeing none, we'll close the site selection portion of the meeting. We do have two items of regular business to deal with this morning. Um, we are bound not to take up the professional fan artist Hugo.